All right. So how much can you borrow? Okay. If you remember in the last slide, I said about budgeting being the key to saving. Now, do you think budgeting affects your affordability? You know, how much you can borrow? It does. Just keep that in mind. That one solution solves a lot of things. So a couple of points I want to make on this. So what you can borrow. Firstly, the effect of debt, borrowing capacity. So a debt, as you know, is a liability. You've borrowed money uh, and you need to pay it back with interest. So you're robbing your future spending pretty much. Okay. So I'll give you an example. Let's just say you had a $15,000 car loan and you were paying two hundred and fifty dollars a fortnight, let's say. Quite common. A lot of people have car loans, different sizes, but I'll just use that example. It could be a personal loan. It could be a, you know something of, the, of that nature. So $15,000 car loan, $250 a fortnight is your payment. It, that's uh, equivalent to a $75,000 home loan. So you can have the car loan at $15,000 paying $250 a fortnight, or you can have a $75,000 home loan. You can't have both. You need to choose. All right. The second example I'm going to give you is a 10 grand credit card limit. Okay. You probably, I don't know if you've heard about this, but um, so let's just say you had a $10,000 limit on a credit card. Okay. But you don't owe anything, let's say hypothetically, or you might owe a thousand or two thousand dollars on it, but the limit is $10,000. Okay. That's equivalent to a 40 or $50,000 home loan. So you can have a credit card with a 10 grand limit or a 40 or $50,000 home loan. You can't have both. So to pay down debts, you obviously need a budget. Get rid of them. Avoid debt. Okay. I'm also going to tell you another little trick that, you know, um, lenders, um, when they're doing low deposit home loans for people that have less than a 20% deposit, um, some ideally the amount of debt that you have is zero. Ideally, it doesn't have to be, but that's ideal. Okay. I've got one lender in particular, if they get a low deposit home loan under 20% deposit, if the person has $1 more than 10 grand of debt, it will do an instant decline. Okay, so I'll repeat that. I've got a lender's policy that if um, you have more than $1 of over $10,000 worth of debt, okay, they will instantly decline it. Okay, so if you're asking a lender to put up majority of the money, to purchase a property, you know, be very wary of debt, get rid of it, pay it off, don't don't take it out, okay, and limit it. Now, I'm not saying it has to be zero, that's the ideal, right, but as low as possible. Um, okay, so that's the first point I wanted to make. The second point is around affordability, okay, and borrowing capacity, as I mentioned, okay, it's a derivative of your income, debt, and family situation, okay? So generally in New Zealand, people can borrow between four and six and a half times their combined gross income of the applicants. So let me repeat that. Generally in New Zealand, everybody can borrow between four times and 6.5 times their gross income of the applicants, okay, or applicant, okay? So four times would be a single income household with children and debts, okay? 6.5 times would be two high double incomes with no children and no debts, okay? Now, there are many other variables which go into that calculation, but I just really wanted to give you um, some instant feedback. You'd obviously add your deposit on top of that, okay? Now, it is a big range, all right? That's a huge range when you think about it. So um, to work out how, what this might look like, I just encourage you to book a 15-minute chat. Okay, so that's two big tips on how much you can borrow and a little bit of information there. All right, let me know if you've got any questions. Because we're gonna, now we're going to move on to some really exciting, the really exciting bits.